Hello, it's, this, uh, it's uh, the afternoon of the 6th, so this has had a little more time to dry and I'm going to try to show you my plan for finishing it. Now one of the issues with any bottle is, okay later I'm going to put a handle on it, but is does it need a handle or not? For instance, sake bottles don't typically have the handles. Um, but it sort of governs how it can be used. And some bottles, a handle will just look dumb. Other hand, other bottles really need a handle either for aesthetic purposes or for mechanical purposes. Um, this one is, I mean, it's all gonna shrink, but this one's pretty fat, so it's gonna get a little handle. And I don't want to do a handle straight out the side. I'm going to do one of the loop handles. But first, I want to get rid of some ex excess clay that's down in the, the lower part of the wall. So this trimming right side up thing, this is also what I do um, for pitchers. I mean, you can, you can turn a pitcher upside down and use a chuck, but it, you know, it's time-consuming and a little nerve-wracking and if you can arrange to not need to well then that's a good idea okay So, I've used my tool to figure out which part is, you know, sticking out, and I push it away. There we go, much better. So what you do here, and what I'm doing here, is I'm removing clay, but I'm I'm waiting till the very end to remove the, the last bit, the bit closest to the wheel head, because right now that's what's holding it in place. So the other opportunity that's part of this is that by by removing some of this clay, I'm actually hoping to make it look less dumpy. It was pretty, pretty wide for its height. And it, to the extent that there's extra clay, it doesn't look, need to look that dumpy. the needle tool and just draw a straight line into the wheel head. as efficient about this as I would like. But. Okay, right now it's being held in place by that water I put underneath it. But I'm also not asking a lot of it. Okay, so. And while it's in place, I'm going to put the handle on. Finishing it with the wooden tool, the wooden rib, in part to make the skin of it match the skin up here. Okay. 
So if you do a handle on a bottle, what you'll find is that if you put the handle too far up, and sometimes I've done them like right off the lip, uh, they may look terrific, but in the firing, that handle moves, it shrinks, it twists, and you can actually pull the, the mouth off round, which isn't necessarily fatal, but it, it makes it so that a cork won't fit properly. Okay, so. Now, I just want a little bit of a handle so someone can get a finger through there or a bit of cord so they can uh, hang it from a belt uh, as they walk around. It's hard to travel with a bottle that doesn't have some way to leash it. So, same as with the cup earlier, you sort of have to guess at how much handle you need. And again, the needle. So it's establishing the angle. The other thing about this is this is the best moment for doing this part of the attachment because the handle, the rest of the handle is out of the way. So, there's the little bottle with the handle. Have a good day.